I couldn't believe the size of this tree. One word came to mind. Monster. Good morning, Samuel. Good morning, Jim. Here we go again. Yep. Down to the monster tree. That's right. <coughs> Last week, we started the tree from hell. And um, when I arrived down there, I was shocked. Absolutely shocked. <laughs> it was huge. I'd seen pictures on the internet of it. Cringed almost. It was that big. It's over their house. It's got power lines running right round it. Slope and main. Slope and main. Beautiful spot to be working. You got anything else to say, Sam? Um, we should be in for a pretty good day. Pretty big adventure. We've still got another six hours of solid work to go to get this thing down. Oh, I'll wait until you see this, guys. Six metres around the butt. It's going to be massive. Anyhow, stay tuned and uh, we'll catch you all later. You. See you later. Hey Mark, I need one of your cranes just to get into this tree. <laughs>
happy with what we're trying to do to, to men. No, that's real good, mate. No, that's not bad. Don't bloody worry about it, mate. I am um, just making sure that everything's clear on what's going on on Friday. So um, Sam, Sam will be down back to your place with the excavator and the chipper on the truck. Yep. He's going to be bringing down some plaster sheeting to um, to finish up the room, and I've organised all the timbers for the externals. Um, is there anything else that you need that you can think of? We've got another day to sort of think about everything we need. Uh, no worries, no, I think everything's fine. Right. Come on, thanks for the information. No, no worries at all, Tim, and um, yeah, we'll touch base again on Friday. Good on you, pal. Thanks, mate. Bye. Bye.